Hi guys and welcome back to this channel. On today's video, I just want to show you how you can use a PFR reactor as well as computing your catalyst information onto it. This is just an example. I'm just going to be trying to be as basic as possible to cover almost everyone and their needs but i'll also try to get to details when it comes to particularly this plug flow reactor previously we used in aspen heises simulator but i owe you guys a cocoa simulation as well on how you can compute everything onto it okay um so yeah let's start so here i'm just going to show you how you can impute your catalytic information please also make sure that you visit your literature to get the type of your mass of your catalyst for your particular catalyst as well as the density porosity um, you might also want to do some calculations for your plug flow reactor but for this example i'm just going to show you if you have all that information how you compute it um, in terms of this example we are going to use this particular catalyst and it's here's the information for that particular catalyst that i got from literature you might also want to calculate um, the reaction rate for your particular reaction that will be taking place um just showing you the answer that i got but yes i did calculate it to detail step by step so yeah so we are going to be exploring this together using cocoa simulation for my cocoa simulation i'm going to add my property packages um, which i've already created and, and if you don't know how it's simple just click on add and then you click on the particular um property package in question under t um, if you don't have it um, created already, you can always click on the add or create button um, because I already have it computed. I'm just going to click on it. And yeah, that is my property package that I will be computing onto the simulation. Next up. Oh, yes. Um, and those are the, the compounds that are in it, such as my carbon monoxide, my water, my carbon dioxide, my hydrogen and methanol. And I chose my property, um, thermodynamic dynamic property as well. Next up, it's the um the reaction package. For the reaction package, what you need is your reaction itself. Um, that will be taking place in that particular plug flow reactor. If you haven't created it, it's also simple. Just click on add and then new. Then you create your new reaction package. But because I've already created it, I'm just gonna click on it. And I just want to show you how it looks like. So I will also click on aid. So I specified the compounds and I also specified my reaction that will be taking place in my simulation with the reactants being negative and products being positive. I also specified the reaction rate that I calculated as I showed you in my Excel spreadsheet. Now, um, now let's start with our simulation. For our simulation, we are going to add our streams so the inlet stream i'm going to specify everything um as shown earlier on in terms of the temperature the pressure and also the more fractions also do you specify your the flow rate that it will enter um, your molar flow rate you have to calculate it based on your output so if you want to produce 100 metrics of methanol you have to calculate everything um do your mass balance and then yeah for start it will guide you in order to achieve the desired output that's just an example guys next step it's to add your reactor for the reactor we are going to click on the plug flow reactor and we will have to aid everything accordingly the moment you click on your plug flow reactor, it will ask you to add a specific prop, um, reaction package. But if you forgot to click on it, you can always click right click and specifically say add reaction rate property in case you forgot to click on the particular step. So for editing purposes, we're going to specify that this will take place at vapor phase you have to calculate your volume guys you have to size your volume if you need help i have a video on that one on that as well you have to specify the temperatures in this case we're giving it should range between 200 and 200 degrees and 300 degrees um so you can just convert that to kelvin you also have to specify the number of chips that will be inside of your reactor as well 
Um, and lastly, this is the part that you can get from literature, guys, and it's the density of your catalyst, the porosity, the void, the mass, the volume, you know, for that particular um, catalyst. For my conversion, I just selected methanol. And yeah, don't forget to specify the reaction that will be taking place by adding it as well. And yeah, that's it. If you solve, that's how you compute your plug flow reactor. If you need help in terms of the whole entire simulation, it's in its entirety, let me know. Um, just reach out to me on my email. But for now, I was just showing you guys a very simple step on how do you actually compute a plug flow reactor on cocoa simulation. Yeah. Um, let me know feel free to shout out if you want me to solve this particular simulation for you in its entirety um, specifically catered for you made unique for you you can also reach out to me on my emails yep that's it guys till next time bye oh guys by the way also um if you wanted to try and solve this by yourself you're more than welcome to do so you can actually reference this particular video here whereby we looked into um, water gas shift reaction and also basically producing methanol as well. So you can take a bit of this part here and combine it with one of these other videos and it should actually help. Come to think about it. Okay, till next time. Bye.